but let's have a look. So I don't know if I can find. I mean, this might be the right color. I don't understand. Uh, look at this. I don't know. I don't even know. I don't even know. Look, this is like. It turns to blue. It turns to green. Like I don't understand. Ah, I'm a. F mm -hmm. Cause we know. We had that color last. Time right, for part one. This is a correct light. So. I have a question for you. Um, is this the right color for part one? What, what it, this is the. Is this the right color that we did last time? Um, it might be. It might be. It might be. Because part one, you said to use that color, right? Which is the white light color, correct? Correct. Right, okay. This should be right. Because I can tell. And I think it's time for me to get that light. Be right back, just a second. So, as I said, part two, in case my director agrees with that light, right? I don't know. I don't know. But tr the tr the truth is that this color here is seems kind of cool, to be honest. I mean, that's kind of cool. It might be. Hmm. So this can go. Okay, so if I turn that off, you can see full of this thing, right? But you'll see. Okay. This can go there. I don't know about this, honestly. I mean, this is the correct one we did, like, last time. So, basically, um, so to your left, your left, your left. Again, if you're seeing this with the recording, like the video, so to your left or right, I don't know which. Okay, so this is your right and this is your left. Like your right and left. Because the camera is in the opposite form. I don't know. <sighs> kind of confusing. But I think we're fine for now, but uh, okay, so this is a white color to your right, and then this is the middle part to that color. Because my director agrees with the color. That's good. Are we good so far? Good. Okay, so guys, uh, I will be back. I'm going to have to turn the camera off, so I will see you guys in a little bit with part two. Yeah. Okay, guys, I am back, and again, last part, you know, part one, as I said before, uh, the camera's turned off because when I, when I have a video up, it lags. But where we left off, we uh, kind of <laughs> um, stopped somewhere. But I think we kind of, uh, I don't know. I don't know. We know we saved it, but I don't know how we, but I don't know how it exit, exit out. Hold on one second. Okay. So this is where we left off because we stopped at 9.20. This is where we stopped at. 9.20. This was our stopping point right there. But guys, um, we stopped at 9.20 and that was for part one. And now we're on to part two. So let's keep going with the video. Stop, got the ball. Oh wait, I forgot about the volume, guys. Cause look at this. The volume is legit. It's legit at eighty-one. Cause last time we did like a little video, and then we couldn't hear a thing. I don't know. 
75. 69. Okay, right there. Hey, a game! Hey, can I play? Pick me! Me, me, me! Can I play? The object is simple. Whatever you do, Okay, let's play. There we go. Catch. She's got it. Woo! All right, we caught it. Woo! We caught it. We caught it. We caught it. Oh, very nice. Well, I'm a nice shark. <laughs> <laughs> It's gonna explode. And by the way, all those drawings, these are these are all deleted scenes so because people don't wanna make a full entire movie. So basically, they cut off everything and wanted to keep the drawing as the deleted scenes, just to put it as that. Let's keep going. Oh, okay, I get it. I get it. Except bloody dolphins. Except stinking dolphins. Oh, look at me, I'm a flipping little dolphin. Let me flip for you, I know something. Oh, look at me, I'm a flipping little dolphin. Let me flip for you, I know something. <laughs> right then, today's meeting is step five, bring a fish friend. Right then, today's meeting is step five, bring a fish friend. Okay, hold up. So in the drawing, their voices is different. But in real thing, in real thing, right? In real thing. The voice gets deeper. Okay, that's cool. Really cool, honestly. That that's really cool because the drawing and the real thing. The voices are kind of different. Right. Okay. Let's let's keep going. An important feeling of underwater, um, especially like World War Two uh, ships that end up at the bottom of the ocean, is that they rest and they decay smacking in of a huge great white shark into a door would release a bunch of um, sort of rust particles, uh, silt, which had settled onto that stuff would get knocked up, and the water would get a lot murkier locally in the area, and then you'd see the silt kind of puff up and then settle back out. And the key thing about um, doing silt and making it believable really has to do not so much with how it gets kicked up. Uh, dust also responds on top of your refrigerator. You smack top of the fridge, dust will kick up in the air. It has to do with how it settles out, and things slow down a lot faster in water. Water is way more viscous than air, as people know. And so when Bruce the shark knocks silt off a door or off the ground or something, um, as it is ejected into the, the, into the water around him, it sort of flies in quickly, but then immediately slows down, is eased out by the water, and then gently settles out due to gravity. But once it's in the air, Bruce's tail then sort of swims by and kicks it. It all has to react to that as well. Keeping track of all those dynamic interactions underwater is quite difficult to do. We spent a lot of, we tried, spent a lot of time and attention to make that look believable. And... When it's done right in a shot, suddenly that adds a whole different additional level of believability to being underwater, which is a key story point in the film. Right. True. And Next. exposure underwater has some different sort of properties than ones in air do. You typically get this fireball that goes big, gets small again, and leaves behind it a mushroom cloud of smoke that rises up through the water. Lighting also plays a huge component in connecting each one of the explosions to the ones that are local to it, so that when one of these things popped off, it would flash on all its neighbors, who would also then move them out. They'd pop off, they'd light the ones next to them and carry on and so forth, all the way through the entire set until the whole thing just went up one big popcorn explosion of red and orange and yellow and horribleness. Okay, before we uh, move on and then uh, continue, if you hear any uh, effects in the background, I am sorry about that. I have should have, I should have like, close the curtains before I, uh, we, uh, kept going with the video. Uh-huh. Yep, sorry for that. Sorry about that, guys. Um, soon for part three, I'm gonna have to close those, those uh, curtains. My bad. Alright, let's keep going, I guess. What did you think when you found out that a character had been named after you? Um, I think it's great. <laughs> I think it's, I mean, it's a little bit of a mixed bag because she's kind of a, um, she's kind of, um, is it the word villain? I have played a million practical jokes on Mr. Andrew Stanton, and I think it's just his way of getting me back. 
cool. Klaus. Klaus and Pinata. Okay, this is the Ellen DeGeneres recording session. So these are the outtakes. And this was in November 2002. So by my calculations, this is hard. So we're going to have to write this down because my phone is going to die. So 2020, right? Minus 2002. So this was in 18 uh, years ago. Okay, this was... uh, aired or filmed 18 years ago cool okay nothing no e equals mc squared and you know it as well as i do <laughs> you have a bad haircut huh? who's there banana who oh, a... oh, aren't you glad so... big money no whammies Scary. These three tiki heads are actual caricatures of Pixar employees. Right. This was from our notes that we reviewed on for part one. Because I don't want to type it again. Because we already did that for part one. And reviewed on. And these notes and everything will be on my classroom. So that way you guys can review. And probably add those little, little, um points where you can uh stop at so that i can see your work and everything so yeah wait you know what okay these um, three tiki heads are actual caricatures of pixar employees okay cool so yeah sorry i'm gonna have to go back sorry um gonna have to go back so, Mr. Peter, production, production artist, okay, production artist, okay, production, okay, is that right, production, production, yeah, production artist, okay, Mr. Mr. Nelson, next, what? Same thing, he's an artist. He's a production artist too. Okay, what else? Mr. Key, what else we have here? Um Okay, he's a art director slash character Okay how is he a character? I'm impressed. Ricky director, okay, so, okay, we do. Art director, okay. Art director, art. So he's an art director, right? Okay, art director. Character. Okay, I'm gonna have to put them back on classroom. Let's keep going. Because after when part two is done, I'm gonna have to put those back into classrooms, so let's keep going. Gee, oh, sorry. Um, okay. Andrew was very clear that he wanted this 
Um, the shot like we've never done before at Pixar. So we use an extremely wide lens, which allowed us to get the camera really close to everything in the tank. And we're moving incredibly fast through a very small space, hitting very specific visual marks to tie in with the story. From a lighting perspective, uh, the shot also presents uh, a difficult challenge insofar as there are setups for inside the tank clean, inside the tank with algae, outside the tank in the air, outside the tank in the baggy, baggy moving indoors and outdoors in several sets. We used a tool called Pisces, which simulates the behavior of the fish. Okay, we would Pisces. set up a bunch of basic okay, parameters cool. where the school would be, how fast they should swim, and then simulate and do iterations of that until we got something we liked. The number of fish that we would simulate would vary from small school in the reef to a couple thousand for some of the big hero schools and background schools. There was a lot of simulations where we would put a lot of fish in and then just kill the ones that were misbehaving. So basically hundreds of... But the outtakes and everything will be at the end of the video, so, yeah. DG Fish died to make this movie. <gasps> it was this. You wouldn't know how to get there, would you? What you want to do is follow the EAC. That's a East Australian current. Big current. Can't miss it. It's in that direction. You wouldn't know how to get there, would you? What you want to do is now follow is... the EAC. Okay, so first off, they did the drawing, and now they uh, started to do the layout. And then what's next after this? That's a East Australian current. Big current. Can't miss it. It's in that direction. You wouldn't. Now is the animation. Look at this. The animation. This is so weird. So they did the drawing. Next up, they did the layout. And then now they did the uh, animation. That's cool. Know how to get there, would you? What you want to do is follow the EAC. That's a East Australian current. Big current. Can't miss it. It's in that direction. And the final version, which is all that everything happens in that. So, yeah. Well, we needed to figure out how jellyfish moved for one, and that it's was kind deal. of what this was was Brown. all about. And this was also to, to figure out the give them something to figure out all of the dynamics down below with. We began by taking um, simple spheres as standards for jellyfish and sprinkling them in, in the volume and pointing a camera that direction. We had no idea how complicated the this path is going to be from that so. attempt at a simplistic view of this set to fully realizing the set with all the jellies moving all different directions, the camera flying through that in three dimensions, with no reference for ground plane, ceiling, or walls, the characters interacting with the jellies, the jellies being see-through, and the whole thing together became quite a, t a mess to untangle. Quite a Pandora's box, this little, this little guy right here. But it was worth it because it's beautiful in the film. It's a beautiful scene. True. Very true. One of the uh, most important elements to make the tank look believable in the set that it was in was the use of reflections and refractions um, looking from outside in and inside back out. We took both videotape footage, stuck our heads in tanks, stuck our heads outside tanks, and stared at the fish in the tank guy downstairs to really get a sense for how the image gets warped and distorted by the glass and water interface. The effect itself, the physics are well understood. Um, to do it in computer graphics uh, cheaply is hard, and especially to cheat it so we can control it, which is one of the key things about it. And so we weren't able to just duplicate physics directly. We need to put controls into adjust it and fudge it. Okay, really nice and cool. Where are you from, Gil? Oh, you wouldn't have heard of it, shark bait. It's a rough. Okay, math time, here we go. So, deleted scenes, June 2001. Where's that pen? There you go. Okay, so, um, so, 2020, 2001, or 2002, I mean 2001, sorry. Okay, 19 years ago. Okay, good. 19, this was made 19 years ago. Part of the ocean. Where is the rough part of the ocean? Use your tail. Your tail. It's called Bad Luck Bay. Place is sort of shaped like a human skull. Cool. But I got brothers and sisters. Let's see. There's uh, Marco, Polo, Lester, Linus, and Lulu. Lulu? That's your name. <laughs> Don't wear it out. Hey, it's five o'clock. Bet the bandages come off today. Oh, they might. They might not. Who knows this? Of course they will. It's Friday. Gil's right. All major revelations happen on Friday. Marco, Polo, Lester, Linus, and Lulu. Well, hello there, said the captain. And who might you be, he asked. Marco, Polo, Lester, Linus, and Lulu. Lulu, he chuckled. That's my name, said Lulu. Don't, Don't wear it out. Brothers and sisters. Let's see. There's uh, Marco, Polo, Lester, Linus, and Lulu. 
so don't wear it out. When tugged. suddenly, whoosh, out came a giant It was a swordfish, okay? The mean kind. It won't blue strike down its side. One more inch, and you wouldn't have heard of a shark bait. It's called bad luck bait. Bad luck bait. It's a rough part of the ocean. Sort of shaped like a like a human skull. They're lies. So what happened after I got sunk? <sighs> Thanks for the lies, Gil. <laughs> I just told you. <sighs> you had gotten lost in the jellyfish forest, okay? And I had to go find you. Are you still with me? So after I found you, you got stung pretty bad. Okay, quick recap. You get lost, then found, then stung. Ouch, ouch. Now did you get all that? You still don't look like you were listening. Because you know when your eyes go past me like that, I have a hard time believing you're listening. Uh, oh. Dude. <laughs> Jellyfish. <laughs> Intense, man. Dory, this is Crush. Uh... Uh, Crush here actually knows a whale. Yeah, we all know the whale, man. He is to be known for the whale. He's a very wise dude, man. Right now, the whale's like out there, man. Feed, you know? Food for the mind. And the so- Whoa. Did you see that? Yeah, we know what the uh, boring, boring girl sh shells are, but if you're new to it, and I know I've attached the video to the classroom, so so that way you guys can see uh, everything that they did so far before they uh, actually put into uh, a full movie. So yeah, so this is a girl uh, shell, and this is a boy shell. Boy shell, okay. Girl shell, okay. Girl. Boy. Okay. Cool. Okay. What's next? So this lamp of a light. Lamp lighthouse. This is what I want. Literally, no cap. Sorry. <laughs> Gonna have to edit this out. So, anyways, um, this is the this is the lamp that I want so bad. Lamp lighthouse. Let's go ahead and uh, remember that for uh, next time we film part three. So what we can do is up there. Sorry, I hit my I hit my desk. Sorry. Um. Okay. So this is where we had to, to stop. So this is our stopping point right there. Twenty thirty nine. Okay, so we stopped at twenty thirty nine. Cool. Okay, now I'll be back once I get my camera all set up. Okay, so uh, director, I'm sorry. Um. There is a little trouble behind me, so, uh, we're good? We're good. Alright guys, so that does it. Um, if you guys want a part 3 to the series, uh, be sure, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And then also, if you are new to my channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you do, to my bell icon whenever I upload a new video go live. And also, um, feel free to share this video and also comment any questions. So that way I can answer y'all back. And... Also, comment part three if you want a part three so badly. I don't know why I'm saying this, but guys, so till then, I'm sorry uh, if there's a lot of trouble behind me. So till then, I'll see you guys soon. Bye. What should I do? Uh, honestly, <laughs> um, you can see the sunlight, but what's sad is that tomorrow is going to rain. Why?
I don't know, but we have, I don't know, we have any days, because we're in April. <laughs> April showers. What is going on? This, I don't know. I'm pooped out. I don't know. I'm just uh, uh, off. <laughs> I don't know anymore. Okay, let's log off now. Um. Right, cool. Okay. <laughs> Bye, guys. T tune in for part three. Bye. Oops. So I didn't realize that my mic is off. <sighs> Anyways, um, guys, I'm sorry. My mic wasn't on, and I didn't, uh, and I didn't notice that it was off. Cause I was calling my friend August, and then, um, <laughs> I uh watched the video, and then it appears it is off. What I've been trying to say is I have won the competition between me, my friend August, and his friend Matthew. Because it was round one, and then this summer, me, hopefully me, my friend August, and his friend Matthew are going to do round two. That's the plan. Right? And then now my phone is recording, so that way you guys can see the footage that I have won. So, this is the footage that I have won the contest between me, my friend August, and his friend Matthew. So, again, this summer, hopefully, um, me and my friend August and his friend Matthew are going to do round two. Yes, that's the plan for the summer. For the summer so, hopefully. So, I won the contest, and then I wanted to make it official. So, yeah. So guys, if you want to go, go add my friend August, feel free to do so. It's always down there in the link below. And also, if you want to add me on Snapchat, feel free to do that also. It's always down there too. And also, if you want to um, follow his friend, uh, my friend, August's uh, friend, Matthew, on, on uh, Instagram, follow him too. And then, uh, if you have Snapchat, add him, feel free to do so. I'll... Leave us up here. It's up there in the link below to follow him and add him on Snapchat. Feel free to do so. And uh, yeah, so it's official. So till then, hopefully me and my friend August and his friend Matthew will see you guys soon for round two. Bye. I might just go psycho. <laughs> I might just go psycho. Too many drunk white hoes. Yeah. Set out on what I might